what do you need to know about the difference between a boarding house and apartments? I'm Max Frager, Council Political Group. The essential difference between the two is that a boarding house evolved from what we used to call boarding houses. Look, when I was a young fella here, they were boarding houses. Now the state government has changed them. They're essentially, they used to be a room in an old building with a common room and they didn't have a very good reputation. Now they're boarding houses. They're basically what's commonly known as new age boarding house. Um, boarding house rooms are self-contained, maybe 20, 25 square metres, uh, kitchenette, beautiful, nice deck, fully self-contained. Most of them, there are very few that, are, that we're doing now that are not of the self-contained, um, basically studio apartment. The difference, um, home units, flats um, are different. They go under different rules. They're generally larger. Um, many councils have rules that make um, units and flats un unnecessarily large. Most people don't want a lot of, sorry, a large sector of our of our. Uh, community doesn't want a large apartment. They don't want to heat, heat and clean a large apartment. So um, boarding house rooms must continue to be rental. They cannot be owned individually. Um, you can own a number of boarding houses. You could even have more than one boarding house on one block. But the individual suites, the individual boarding house rooms can't be separately sold. Whereas home units you can have strata titled and whatever and whatever. There are some advantages there, but boarding houses are focused on the rental market and therefore really, um, really valid um, parts of the community. You know, young doctors, nurses, teachers, police, people that are really just self-employed, busy, want good accommodation, close to home, close to, sorry, close to employment, close to the shops, close to the cafes when they reopen. Um, and if you want to go ahead with that, we think they're great um, and we'd love to do it. So if you'd like to have a consultation, give us a call from the website. We will or go, or go to the website. We'll book a consultation and then if it all comes together, we'll help you through the whole process.